So President Trump's re-election campaign uh, is now featuring a new product, plastic straws. Uh, now, this follows conservative outrage after Seattle banned their plastic straws, along with other plastic implements, uh, single-use plastics, because of the negative impact on the environment. Look, let's be honest, right? So this is a very well-intentioned thing. I'm not exactly in favor, nor am I really against banning straws. Uh, because, look, let's be honest, they do have a small but negative impact. And, again, very well-intentioned, but when you're looking at what is actually causing the most plastic in the ocean, fishing nets are by far the worst. In fact, uh, commercial fishing nets announce, uh, account for about 46% of all ocean plastic. Those nets are not left by you and me. They're left by large commercial fisheries. So big corporations. And nonetheless, Seattle banned plastic straws. In California, you must specifically ask for a plastic straw at a restaurant. Now that has led, of course, to all sorts of mockery by Donald Trump supporters who don't really care about the environment. In fact, they, they hoard up on uh, plastic straws and they're like, what are you gonna do about it, libtard? Ha, <laughs> you're trying to save our environment and our ocean so our food uh, system doesn't collapse? Libtard. I know, super, super funny, right? Like we're all apparently supposed to be adults here. Uh, so now the Trump administration, or I'm sorry, the Trump campaign, ever eager to roll, uh, to, you know, own the libs, decided to roll out these straws as part of their campaign merchandise. So let's, uh, take a look at the listing here. And at first I thought this was fake. Cause no way they're doing straws to own the libs, but no, hundred percent real. Take a look. Liberal paper straws don't work. Stand with president Trump. And buy your pack of recyclable straws today. Hey, look, they're BPA free. <laughs> Reusable and recyclable, nine inches long. That's what she said. A uh, pack of 10 identical straws as shown. They're even laser engraved and made in the U.S. And they've got Trump on them. <laughs> oh, okay. So look at the price though. 15 bucks for a pack of 10 Trump straws. Congratulations. Uh, if whoever buys this, super dumb. You know why? Because you have metal straws. Which, by the way, you know, you can take metal straws anywhere. They are literally reusable all the time. Metal straws are cheaper to buy online. Not only that, but there are other plastic straws that are super cheap to buy online. In packages much, much larger than 10 for 15 bucks. I mean, come on, man. Oh, but to be fair, they're not engraved with Donald Trump, so... And, and so they don't have the effect of triggering us libs. In fact, every time you purchase one of the package of these straws, we get more and more and more triggered. In fact, you should buy them all and watch the tears flow. <laughs> oh, look, here's the thing. This, this shows... Donald Trump's campaign strategy, right? And, and we've seen a taste of that and the attacks in the squad uh, that were, of course, pre-planned, the attacks, uh, disgusting attacks against Ilham Omar, they are running on own the lips. Outrage, right? Fear, outrage, anger, the same, I guess the same way the thing they actually ran in 2016, except there's no policy whatsoever. There's no attempt at making your lives better. Because to a Trump supporter, well, my life's already better now that I have Trump in office. Which is actually not. Uh, there's no kind of positive vision for the country. Just, hey, buy my hacky straws so you can trigger some liberals. No, well, I got news for you. We're not triggered. We're actually kind of laughing at you. Because it's so ridiculous. Uh, and by the way, um, yeah, what's funny is that those straws, they boast that they're recyclable, right? So, like... Own the libs with these straws, but remember to recycle. What's sad about that is, of course, straws are actually incredibly difficult to recycle, even under the best of circumstances, right? Um, as Wired explains, recycling plants are very large, uh, and they're driven by conveyor belts. And the problem with the straws is that they're small, right? They're so small that they end up falling off the conveyor belts uh, and onto the recycling plant floors. 
which they end up usually getting sent to landfills anyway. And not only that, but of course, when you try to recycle, you know, uh, straws, they end up either, you know, falling out of the bags or, or you know, falling out the, the, the trucks and just, and then, you know, escaping, right? So what happens when that happens um, is that they usually end up breaking apart the smaller chunks due to wind, rain, and they eventually make their way to the ocean. So, again, a very small part, but that's where a lot of the straws end up coming from, right? Even if you try to recycle them, it's actually incredibly difficult to do so. That doesn't mean that we shouldn't try or anything, of course. We should absolutely try. Uh, we should do something. But in the overall plastic problem in the ocean, the straws are actually low-hanging fruit. They're, they're one of the easier supposed fixes. Whereas, of course, it's a lot more difficult to take on the main uh, polluter of, uh, of, of ocean plastic, uh, the major source of ocean plastic, uh, and that would be, of course, the corporate fisheries. So, but back to the Trump campaign here, right? Literally running on owning the libs. This is another example of the Trump administration or Trump campaign of monetizing conservatives who are triggered at basically any attempt at change, any attempt at doing something positive for the world or the environment. The only people Trump supporters are owning when they buy these overpriced straws have just happened to be themselves. The final irony. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc., we're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYTNation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYTNation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.